It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Hey, building code, get a hard hat. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. The great RT. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plan. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's Stop! Man, running from me is a bad idea! Get him away from me! Someone help me! It's best to downtown units. Civilians reporting at 245 and Philmont Hill. Ambulance in route. Suspects fleeing the FTD construction site.
Craig. Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way? With the, uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. You fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. 
Uh, you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? <laughs> so you do want to mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Sugar Plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. Hello. We're looking for a guy 
in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? It's gonna be a nice weekend. I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A plot petition? So you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? We found this prick? Not yet. Okay. Uh, I'm going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoop. My baby girl celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy! He's not so creepy. He's out of the car! I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm sorry about that. We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess. He really scared me, but I, I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I try not to think about exactly what aspect of your creative expression enamored him so much. Okay, that's right. Denial kind of works for me. Thanks, Daddy. Bye. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. <laughs>